What I'd like to do here today is show how to pull the doors apart and how to adjust. Uh, as some of you, you would know, um, my vehicle has got a uh, two-stage uh, doors valve system running through a uh, solenoid valve. Uh, I have a high and a low, low at 10 psi, high at 18 psi, 18.5. This is actually the high side doors out of my vehicle. It is also the new design which has a larger orifice on the boost end. That's the boost end, that's the vacuum end. Um, I got this off Darren when we started playing around with the uh, heavy duty uh, spring uh, and we were doing all the testing for that. So uh, that's the story on how this one went. Now to pull the doors valve apart, you'll need a 916 spanner and a 5.8 spanner. I've already cracked the nut on this, so that's no problem. When you are pulling apart an existing one, it's handy to know where your start point is so you don't really need to uh, readjust again. So as I said, I've already cracked this one. So there it is. Holding that there, I know that this one is six turns two, three, four, five, six, and a touch. And that comes apart. I haven't moved that nut. That's the spring. And that's the ball. I don't know if we can see inside the seat, but um, this one hasn't been in there for uh, yeah, several months, but uh, the seat is actually quite clean. Uh, depending on how effective your catch can is and whether or not you have one, um, oil mist can enter through the burst line, get past the ball and build up inside this, in my experience anyway, this tends to make the doors valve a little sluggish. Uh, when I was first setting mine up, I would pull this apart six to eight months and give it a clean and I would find uh, a bit of oil in there. Uh, uh, further modifications to um, my catch can some time ago have made it much more effective. So that uh, has no longer uh, been a problem for me. Okay, now reassembling. And say that is the boost end. Reassembling. The ball goes in first. Then the spring. Then this. And what I'll do is just get it. All right, that's just nip now. Whoop. That's just nip now. So I know now six turns and I'm back to where I started. There's no need for me to adjust. Now, if you're doing this for the first time, it's a little different. And what I did in setting it up, because the heavy duty spring is a lot more sensitive than the old one. What I did was I went one turn shook the doors valve, I can feel the ball moving. Two turns. The ball is just, oh, I can just feel it, just feel it. It's got two and a half turns. The ball has stopped moving. Now I put that into my vehicle when the ball stopped rattling and I took it for a drive and I got five PSI. So I came back and I just went up, I think I went up two turns um, and I finished up with just over 20 psi and I took it back slowly until I now have 18.5. And that really hasn't changed since then. So the heavy duty spring uh, allowed me to get that 18.5 reliably and it doesn't appear to have um, softened at all. Okay, so now we can take that in 
and I'll count off the rest. Uh, three, four, five, six, and now I know I'm back where I started. Now I can tighten that, but it only needs to be a nip. You do not need to swing on it to, uh, to get it tight. Just a nip will do it. Now, one of the things with doing these is about getting into detail. Sometimes you can get into too much detail and bore people who have an idea of what they're doing. But then what happens is you miss the people who have never done it before. And I was reminded by... Um, by a guy who uh, I helped set up his car a little while back. I was reminded by him just how daunting it is the first time you actually do it. So that was why I decided to, uh, to give this a go. So I hope it helps somebody. Thank you.